Welcome to the demonstration about how to view the analysis and health report of an ONTAP system. The NetApp ActiveIQ Config Advisor, hereafter referred to as Config Advisor, can be used to verify a NetApp solution installation for resiliency and cabling issues. In this demonstration, only ONTAP is covered as an example. For ONTAP, data is collected from the cluster or node management port, cluster switches and management switches. You must have installed Config Advisor on your host. For information about how to install Config Advisor on Windows, see either ActiveIQ Config Advisor Quick Start Guide or watch the video. After logging into Config Advisor, the Config Advisor dashboard is displayed. Click Create a new data collection link. Config Advisor enables you to collect data using different methods. Additional methods are available by enabling ActiveIQ One Collect on the Settings menu. In this example, Solution Based Collection Type is used. From the available profiles, select ONTAP from the Profile drop down list. Select either Network or Serial from the Sub Profiles drop down list. Network you can use network subprofile to collect data from ONTAP when you have access to the customer network. You can use serial if you do not have access to the customer's network. Direct access to the controller firmware and switches is gained through the serial ports. The personas determine the commands used for data collection. General collects basic commands for the target device. Diagnostic collects additional diagnostic commands and logs. Analysis runs only those commands that are required for analysis. This is the preferred persona for running analysis for generating reports. In the ONTAP profile, you can select any one of the cluster switch models and management switch models based on the network switches used. Optionally, analysis from the switches can be skipped. In this example, Cisco switches have been selected. Enter the cluster or node management credentials. Enter the cluster and management switches credentials. You can optionally modify the commands that should be collected. Click the validate button to validate the credentials. Click the save or collect button. In the Collect Options dialog box, you can provide a project name, group projects using the group name. Provide the passphrase for saving the project. Confirm the passphrase. Optionally, you can schedule a project. Select the Schedule checkbox and select a choice from the drop down list. Click Save and Collect to proceed. The in progress and completed projects are listed on the data collection jobs page. You can click rerun icon to run the data collection again. You can click the expand icon to expand the collection status and view data collection logs. You can click the binocular icon to view the raw collected data. You can click the trash bin icon to delete the project. You can click the View and Analyze icon to view the analysis on the View and Analyze tab. The dashboard displays three quadrants that provide a quick view of the health report, device details, and storage utilization. In the Health Report widget, you can view a tabular listing of the configuration validation and health check results with the graph and device details summary. If you have enabled the Auto Support Settings in Settings menu, you will see the Active IQ link. If you want to view the detailed summary of the system configuration, you can click the Active IQ link. Log in to the Active IQ Single Sign On page. After being authenticated, you should click the Active IQ link again to view the details of your collected job. Otherwise, you also have an option to click the Active IQ link, click the Go to the Advanced Search link, click Config Advisor, and paste your job ID into the search bar and press Enter.
navigate to the job click view configuration details you can view the stack diagram network interfaces volume and lan details the cluster switch and management switch network interfaces are also displayed you can also view the cable stack and raid disk visualization you can either zoom in or zoom out by using the mouse and export the diagram in an svg format the stack visualization provides additional stack and slot information it provides additional raid disk information you can export all these details into a pdf word or excel format the storage utilization widget displays the storage utilization of the recent job this demonstration explains how you can run the analysis on an on tap system if you have suggestions for improving config advisor send us your comments by email